actual like studio props. <laughs> her and her boyfriend are like super big movie buffs into that shit. But yeah, uh, enough about that. We can kick off into the game. Uh, so let's, I guess, uh, I'll get a Twitter going. You guys start uh, doing some recap. What happened last time in uh, the Shackled City? The Hydra saw its dead mom. And so uh, we couldn't deal yeah, with that sorrow, so we gave it away. Basically. Our bear turned into a piece of wood. Well, cardboard. Mm -hmm. Cardboard. True. Well, it, it, turned, it turned into cardboard that was soaked in wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool Will, you don't actually have to believe job. that it's not magic anymore. He needs to marry that chick ASAP. It's true though, Tits. It totally is. Oh, wait a minute. Can we say that the cardboard cutout is magical, thus indestructible? I mean, Nothing yeah, that was the plan. Indestructible. I mean, okay. without, without the risk of it being destroyed, do, would we really want to keep it that safe? No, no. I, I don't want to keep it safe. <laughs> I want to use it. I, uh, oh, how, much, how much? What's the modifier for using a Dan to attack? Um, considering he's made of cardboard, probably like a negative five. It cool. would have to be a thrown weapon and thrown like a uh, like a paper airplane. Nice. No, no, guys, think of it. Mobile cover. I was just thinking a decoy. I mean that too, but I like. I'm gonna say field. that it it has a damage modifier of a D two minus three. Okay, okay. I like so you're it. healing like them it. for one every time you hit them. <laughs> <laughs> or or it's, two. It's basically more of an insult than an injury weapon, so... Mm -hmm. You start to beat your friends with it? Wait, can I do non-lethal damage with it? Well, let, let's be honest. This is Will's... No, this is Dan's character. He beats on us anyway. And Austin, did I see right? You got a haircut? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. He's back to his short-haired self. Ooh. Back to his shitpost self. <laughs> I don't think he would read that as a discount. Uh, but no, recapping. We went ahead and strolled out with the baby Hydra. Yes. And the cardboard cutout. Yeah. Ran across a man in a boat. Whose Who name was I this? don't know, so somebody go ahead and provide it for me. It was, uh, it was Keegan Gell. Uh, in I hope I wrote this down. I did not. That was a frogman. Yep. That was his name. Frogman 2000. <clears throat> no, it was definitely, definitely. Baka. It's Abaka. Yes, Abaka. Abaka. And yeah, Abaka decided not only was he going to go ahead and charge us a ridiculous amount just to get in the boat, but halfway through, like a true shyster he is, he wanted more. Yeah, and gold wasn't enough this time. Yeah, he wanted something for the drought. He wanted the Hydra, basically. Well, well he, mean, wanted, he wanted a <laughs> gift to the Sea Mother, yes. which comes in the form of basically two things. One of which is a servant, uh, i.e. what the Hydra will be. Um, the other is a soul. And which considering, nobody wanted to give up. Considering Because three of us can't. Sakata doesn't have a soul. The cardboard cutout doesn't have a soul. And, and, he's, sold um, to a and he's already sold to his god. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It w no. And he, and he could still technically give his soul. Yeah, but then he loses powers again. <laughs> yeah, likely. Um, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> Jared is already a were shark, so he's already got the blessing of the Sea Mother, meaning he can't give his soul over. It would be sure. worthless, essentially. Um, Klaus so it was basically his... down to me, and I was like, well, if I give my soul up, um, I probably will be stuck in this body forever. We could have got and it back. I don't back. really want that. Yeah, we just have to fight the fucking frogman who's killing large creatures triple our size. That's fine. Yeah, and Jared was so insistent on not giving up this yeah, baby Hydra that we Jared just is. found that he was willing to fight this thing that had lived longer than time itself. Yeah. Um, hey, I loved Harry. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to let things you love go. Or wait, Especially no, it when it's either that or all of us die. Henry the Hydra. It was definitely know, Harry. You, know, you, you loved it, it so back, much that you forgot its name. Back. 
you definitely named it Harry last time. I, I named it Harry? Okay. It's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's been a long time! <laughs> well, no, I wanted to... It's almost as long as you knew him. Oh, let me. <laughs> but yeah, apparently I went ahead and like moderately insulted Abaka. Oh, you said you were right. going to kill him. You did draw your weapon. That that was a part of last time's session. To be fair, you know, I've always There is no to be fair game. there. <laughs> you pulled out your weapon on our guide. The man was ferrying us across a very nasty river. <laughs> With a lot of nasty creatures in it. Mm-hmm. He even chopped off a tentacle for us. <laughs> Casually, by the way, by outstretching his arms ten feet. He yeah, also waited, was... which is kind of impressive. Yeah. See, you, you guys just don't like living dangerously. No, I do. I've died already. Because I like living dangerously. It's led to many, many deaths. My own and others. <laughs> Sniper, you and I are the two that live the most dangerously, and we live the most because <laughs> we live different lives more than once. Tweet is out, guys. Tweet is out. I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and get that tweet flowing. And upon my return, we will finish the recap. Uh, gentlemen, behave, if you would, please. We'll and try. when I return, we'll... Uh, we'll oh, boy. So, Sniper, got any good racist jerks for us? Yeah, I'm going to go pee so that I don't have to hear this. Do I have any... <laughs> what? Nothing. Do I have any good racist jokes? Yeah. No. But I do have a couple good jokes. Uh, what kind of killer has strong moral fiber? Sure. A serial killer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the uh, owner of this group? I don't know. I oh no, we can it. we can all just hang up on each other because apparently Skype decided that was the proper way to handle these calls. Maybe I want to get back in. I could hang up on Bub. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, because I can. Now, now watch you screwed up in all of Bub's images. And you're yeah, that's why I'm not it. going to do it. Wait. Oh. 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 I think you might have gotten lucky. Yes. Thank you, Skype. Yeah, no, it's, it's still in the same order. <laughs> I think now, it's if only, if only we call. could go ahead and yeah. shuffle him around while he's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> we could just replace ourselves. Our rep pack's not a thing. Um, did you get one? I'm sure I had one. And usually it would at least say that I don't have any. I'm pretty sure open was ported over, so... Let me take a look. Helix. Uh... I don't know. Because Bottle of Truth should still be in the channel, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Weird. One never knows. more camped now less unkempt um i don't know i mean it's more back now i i, I don't have it in my ears also sniper did you not see this on saturday when we played this no was like i this. don't look at you and you <laughs> and you were all wearing hats the entire game it wasn't the entire game and we were in call for like six hours 
Just Red, go. he's already seen you for all of his life every time you looked in the mirror. <laughs> Up until I now. don't. I try not to look at you too often because of all the sheer disappointment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he always thinks back to his mother. Oh, here's another good joke. Why North did North Carolina just called me? The fuck? <laughs> Sniper? Is that you? <laughs> no, I'm in South Carolina. Maybe it's your cousin. I don't know. <laughs> Cousins no. <laughs> no, all uh, my cousins are around. actually all my cousins are actually around Bub. Really? Indiana? Yep. In fact, when I went ahead and told the family that, oh yeah, I'm thinking about going to Indiana September, they're like, You're gonna visit the family, right? And I'm like, Oh fuck. It's like <laughs> that's like fifty different people. Yeah, I know that life. Except all of my family's located in like one spot in Alabama, so it's like a really easy it, it, it's a small town, so it's easy to go around and say hi to everyone. But, uh, yeah. I, I know how you feel. What do you call bees that produce milk? Boo bees. Damn. Steal my thunder. I mean, I always got those thunder thighs, you know what I'm saying? Why can't ghosts have babies? So there's already a speedrun for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, there was actually like a, a, a whole thing about whether or not you could use amiibos in the run because it gets you a it gets you a Pona, like uh, almost immediately, okay. and like for the speedrun apparently you need to yeah, have a horse. Would, yeah. So there's it's, a whole debacle about it, but it's just under an hour, right? Fifty-two thirty-seven. Yeah. Okay, Twitch messing up for anyone else, or is it? Nope. No, I'm not having issues. It sounds like your internet's being crushed, though. Yeah. Oh, joy. But yes, in answer to the joke, the reason why ghosts can't have babies is because they have a Halloweeny. Did Sniper DC? I don't think so. It looks like his camera's starting to. His camera looks Click like he's got... Up on him again. Uh Looks like he's filming in like uh, 180p, 140. What is the one that starts with 100? 140, 140, something like that. It's 140. That many pixels. Or I think it's 140. I have no idea. Let me look on YouTube real quick. Maybe well, I think it's 144 actually. We shall find out. We shall see. Oh. Uh... Yeah, 144, 240, 360, 480, 720, 1080. You're recording in 144, Snipes. Uh, Why was the mermaid in the shells? Welcome back, Bob. Hi. I knew that I would pay for that eventually. I just didn't know that it would be right then. <laughs> Milkshake, uh, you, huh? Um... That milkshake brought all of me to the bathroom. That's what happened. Milkshakes bring all the bubs to the bathroom. And, and they're, they're like, like, no! <laughs> Basically the entire time. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Ugh. Let's uh, let's kick this off. Where did we last... Uh, what, what did we last talk about? Um, you guys uh, discussed... Giving up the Hydra. Yosh. Giving up the Hydra. So... You needed to give up the Hydra. 
you needed to give up the Hydra and you wanted to make it across the lake. What was so important about getting across the lake? Uh, we were looking for Zenith. You were looking for and, Zenith. Uh, okay. Yeah, Abaka was familiar with him, actually. Um, apparently he is the lord. lord. Yeah, the lord of this area. When he came down to banish the evil that was uh, spilling out from the Underdark, evidently he took over. Some kind of coup happened. Okay. Um, what What do you guys think that means? What happened to the rest of, uh, of Splinter Shield's men? Uh, I think they're all dead except for him. They probably yeah, all perished so in battle. Either that or he killed them all and ate their bodies. Yeah, I, was, I was about to say, yeah, they, he killed them all. And he then, could have betrayed and then, them. And he just kind of went, yeah, yeah, I did this for the power and fame and glory. You know, that kind of stuff. Okay. It's not like this right. is a place where they would really throw you in jail if you killed everyone you know. I'm I'm kind of hoping against hope that, that that's not the case, because I do that want him some, to come like with us. he's just a really good guy. Yeah, really hoping he's just like, man, I really miss my dad. I want to reconnect with him and stuff. Want to let him build? I fuck with the vision. We're gonna go down there, and we're just gonna cut his head off and bring his head back, and then we'll can animate it so that uh, so that it talks. Yeah, and then I, I, I talk surely do that. Yeah, sure you can, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now what? I'm, I'm, we can kill him, bring him back, and then get get me eight hours of sleep, and I can revive him. <laughs> then he's gonna kill his dad. We still get paid, and we can kill him again. Oh. I'm not gonna say it's a good idea, but it is an idea. Man, I uh, then, I don't know if this is gonna work out. Then I'm, I'm, I'm having a, I've got a feeling, and it, at least it feels that way that things are just not gonna pan out the way that we'd like them to. You know, here's to hoping, right? Right? Things things will move over smoothly. Yeah, we'll uh, is that sniper. That was sniper. Yeah. He Did he die? Oh, he's back. Oh, no, he didn't rip. He His camera's dying again. Yeah. He ripped to unrip. When Robotron and I was hoping it was going to go in heading and fix it. Alright. So. Oh. What? What was so important? I'm curious. What was so important to get off of the, the boat immediately? You guys had some odd feelings about the person that was... That was, no, I guess, uh, was ushering cool. you forward. You, you thought it was cool. cool. Uh, you you thought there was nothing. On top of the river of death. Yeah. You thought there was nothing wrong with a bucket. Like nothing could go I wrong. I mean, besides the glaring obvious, but he was a cool boat guide. What was the glaring uh, obvious? Uh, the ten foot arm stretching, the ability to sense souls, the the whole not dying and living forever thing. Uh, there's there's a few things. So. Okay. Also, he was a frog, and that that just set me off immediately. <laughs> Yeah, frog exist. <laughs> what? Why did that set you off? Uh, because it's probably the first time horror has ever seen a frogman, and I'm just trying to play it cool because you know I don't want to die. Were you okay. gonna ask him to like lick his back and you know trip out, or like, what's the deal there? If I if I release a fly, can you can you catch it? <laughs> What was Pro what tip? was going on with Jared? He was busy bitching about the Hydra. Yeah, he was pretty upset. It was not fun. Not only did you know, not <laughs> only was I approached by a frogman that you know just kind of reminded me of a bad time in my life. <laughs> Pro tip, by the way, if you lick them, they don't taste great and you don't get high. Mm. Usually, they just look at you kind of weird and they don't call you in the morning. Um, Damn frogman. Whatever will we do? <sighs> Uncultured swines. So? That's it? You were just I upset that they were getting rid of your Hydra? Yeah, I lost my chode to a giant toad. Um, but yeah, I was I was really miffed about not being able to keep my pet Hydra. You know, I, I was starting to grow a, a very strong and severe attachment. I thought it was adorable and got taken away by you know, from me by a frog. Just like all my family, and my mother, and my father, and my brother, everything was taken by the frogs. Okay. All right. So, yeah. just like and your family, watched. you were take they they were taken by the frogs. As he yeah, looks at watched. the nearest now door, he's going to go ahead and give me a pet 
frog. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, hey, if I hadn't been taken into an alter dimension, if I hadn't planeswalked by accident, it's, you know, I'd have had a life. Been there to watch your dad die through a slow and awful sickness. Or your mom Would you have though? Door. Would you have had some kind of a life? Honestly? Well, before chat got to me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've uh, I've got my theories that um, you probably wouldn't have. You would have just died. Eventually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've you've got a you've a bit of Death an issue. You have a bit of an issue with uh, with adventuring. See, that's the thing. Adventurers tend to not stay in one spot very long. And I feel like that's very true about your character. Yeah. Save that Jared's not an adventurer. Then what are you still doing with the group? I'm still with the group because they're defending my city. This is my home. Yeah, but you don't really have a stake in the land. Most Maybe of the more. people here... Most of the people don't really believe you. And if they do believe you, it's because they're holding on to the past. When they see what you've become, that what do you what do you think they're gonna feel? Like what what do you think would happen if Tercion saw you become a shark? Well, what do you think Kiana is looking forward yeah, to at this point? Say, we we really know Kiana's your biggest fan. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, I could get better. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> you get better at killing your teammates? You get better by killing everybody. Wait, hold up. If Sniper kills all of us, does he level up? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a couple times over. <laughs> hey, 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 if I kill all of you, I get to be the new de facto party leader. I mean, so you say. <laughs> False. Cool, Dan. I'll shoot you when he comes back. I'll take so, that. We're gonna join. Up. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be. A, we're gonna be a pre-made squad, and it's gonna be like, hey, so uh, why are you why are you traveling all alone? And you're like, oh, I killed all my party. Yeah, you're not. You're not coming with us. <laughs> you, you, you do. I'm not alone. I yeah, we would. Have. We would never take in bloodthirsty murderers who kill all of their friends, especially if those were half dwarves in a I mean, mine. You, you can do they it were if, to get if back. they can dance. If hey, they hey, can hey, dance. Hey. Only if they can finger waggle. No, no, no. no Fuck. No, no, no. The dance of your people. Mm -hmm. I have a people that, that dance? That tree knows your people very well. Oh, and he wishes he didn't. Kill me. Okay, so... This, this is this is pretty you, Sniper. Like, you yeah, passed I'm off... Willing to bet. You got in. Go ahead. You're willing to bet what? I was just gonna say I'm willing to bet that the only people that remember that moment are the people in this call right now, excluding Before excluding us. Sniper. Yeah, I don't know that anyone in chat right now was here since the very beginning of this campaign. Well, I mean, I'm I'm pretty consistent. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, you've been here. I think you've been here for a few. You've episodes, missed a couple so. sessions, but uh, you know. yeah, but we've pulled. Through. Yeah, yeah, you guys are probably right. I have missed a couple of sessions, haven't I? Fucking bub. Fuck you, me. <laughs> you had to go out and do a hockey or something like that. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I goofed. That's okay, though. That's okay. So, so moving right along. Yeah, moving moving along. You uh, you gave your friend Abaka the, uh, the Hydra. The Hydra infant. And things went smoothly, right? Yep, we got off the boat, and we showed up at a new he's temple. Like, he's like, you're good for now. You're go good for now. now. And he's like, for now. And so, you are good we continue, and we're all like, what? Yeah, that's, that's about how it went. We're, we're for basically going to have to figure out another way around uh, mm -hmm. when we leave. Unless we decide we want to give up somebody's soul this time. Or who knows, maybe Zenith will waive the fee, we'll see. <laughs> If he waves the fee, we can just fly maybe, over time. Maybe he'll Venmo us a soul. I mean, you never know. 
He has a he has an Uber coupon. We'll use that. <laughs> Red can probably just he has a fucking ID. Uber coupon. Kill me. Just Uber X out of here. <laughs> Helicopter. Yeah, it's Good your Uber. Word. Where are you? Hey, hey, guys. It's either Uber or I'm going to Lyft. Guys, if uh, if you're watching right now, if you're watching in in the chat. Um, this is your opportunity to start dreaming up what kind of quirks the players get this evening. Maybe you want to throw in some potions. Maybe you're looking to throw in some items. This is a chance to spend your reputation. I encourage you to do so. Because once we get to the mid-game, the opportunity is going to be missing. Uh, Sprockets, it's going to take a little more than just that. You need to be able to donate to a name... Donate one beautiful sunset. And then the amount. Just like that. How do traps work? Um, well, typically you think they're a woman and then they're not. Mm. And then they unless turn you're talking about the music. Yes, unless you're talking about trap music. No, uh, I'll, I'll ingest. All, all jokes aside, um, traps, basically you, you find uh, a trap that you'd like to put into the game. We will plant that in said location and they activate it. Um, well, they might activate it. They may not come across it. If you wanted oh, to be so elaborate as to discover uh, something super intricate to place in, then I'm willing to entertain the idea. Uh, it's entirely up to you and however you'd feel you'd like to be creative. Unless you're talking about let's be honest. With this group, Brussels. we're going to trip that trap. Yeah. We'll, we'll do yeah. it just for the lulls. Yeah, Sniper's gonna be, uh, going first. Shit! Zach donated too! Alright guys, outside, it's a little overcast. You don't have a lot to worry about right now, because you're in the <laughs> Underdark. <laughs> We're under... Can it be overcast inside the Underdark? Just all of a yeah. sudden storm clouds above us? Why would you want to plant a fake woman? Um, well... Why wouldn't you? Interestingly enough, I suppose just to have the uh, the awkward interaction from player to NPC, or you can make it awkward for me because I have to role play that fake woman. Yep, it's true. Yeah. Don't get too excited now, sniper. It's okay. She's seen uh, she's seen Red's character's balls already. Fake women plants are great, right? Right. So, um, you made it across the water. He, uh, your ferryman has dropped you off here, and it's marble stairways. It's like a stairway to heaven, correct? Yeah. Except, sure. except heaven. if you except go down it backwards. backwards. Yeah, if you go down it backwards, it doesn't summon the devil. <laughs> kind of boring. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, um, let's talk about what you really saw. Uh, it was a giant fish skull, right? Yeah, yes. Yep. This was, in fact, eyes. an enormous spined fish skull that was hanging over the archway itself. Uh, the walls were made of uh, uncut stone. However, the floor itself seemed to have been cut um, all the way up from the base of this water. This um, uh, very, very nasty, oh, oh, very oh, nasty green water. What's up, Wowsy? Thank you so much for the host, brother. Uh, so, you uh, you guys had made it inside, and what did you discover? What was the first you guys discovered? There's a lot of shards of... of uh, something. Something on the floor. And there's several statues around the room of these kind of fish-like men. Kind. Of, there's several right several statues of kind of fish-like men. Um, I feel like you missed some information. There are only two statues. One was a fish man. The other, the other orb, black orb for a head. Yes, but he had a human or a dwarven style body, a very stout, man-like body. I missed the, the whole different kind of body part. I thought they were mm -hmm. both fishmen. I thought they were both fish tacos. Yes. So this is where we round out, and I see if the viewers have come up with any kind of quirks for us this evening. Anything that we'd like to put in. It's been super quiet, so the likelihood is kind of nil. Guys, jump up and get down. Come on, guys. Bring uh, bring some thunder. Bring some fury. Let's uh, let's see what goes on tonight. Um, who's out there? I'm going to grab am. a drink. I'll be right back. Go for it. Go for it. I have 
no idea how to connect to that. What's up? Mmm. Mmm. Jacko's trying to put some things in. Okay. Thoughts are occurring. Mm. Yeah. If I jump, I might break something. Uh, same. Same moves. Sprockets, what's... The frog is a doctor on the side. Okay. All right. Mm, frozen OJ is like a gift from the gods. Do you like it with or without pulp? Um, I like it with pulp. I'm a pulpy kind of guy. He likes it thick enough he has to chew. Do you like it with or without ambrosia and nectar? <laughs> Quirks like what? Stuttering? If we talk things like that, then maybe constantly also talking to someone who isn't there. Classic, but usually fun. Uh, you guys can actually check the table. This is a good place for you guys to see what you can make happen. Take that link right there. It's a table. And you guys can see what kind of quirks you can actually create and put into the game. Whence this loads, of course. Hey. Hey. Jekyll coming in. That's pretty good. So we have roleplay quirks we have silly quirks and mechanical quirks so like looking at silly we have things such as um refuses to bathe because that's when they'll get you you associate all events with your controlling mother you demand equal shares for your invisible friend you self-medicate forever oh we're talking yeah, about me <laughs> <laughs> yes we are, in fact, talking about you. Or you have things like roleplay uh, mechanics. You have gullibility, amnesia, numb limb, depression, overly optimistic. You don't trust people who can't remember their own name. Uh, there's mechanical. You're required to have an animal familiar, and you don't trust animals. They've got shifty eyes. You ingested something. You are now nauseous and paranoid. You have to sing while fighting, even if you're not a bard. You never refuse a challenge, no matter how stupid it may be. Sniper has a permanent quirk, it's true. Sniper's permanent quirk is that he self-medicates. He self-medicates. He secretly coughs potions of healing, herbal remedies, or alchemical brews, and blames the addiction on the current enemy, other party members, the nearest innocence, or some PTSD-inducing event. GG <laughs> Snipes. Ah, oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Feels good, man. I'm still waiting for him to snap and go on a potion binge. Sooner before later. Uh, can mechanicals be permanent? Um, there are some things that I've talked about making permanent uh, if someone were to have the rep to make it so, but most of them are too game-breaking to make them permanent. One session is usually painful enough. So let's see here. So far, we've got one from Jekko, guys. Do we have anything else? Any other quirks coming through? Any potions? Any items? Ailments? Curses? Things of that nature. Man, with so much downtime recently, we're going to have to build up our rapport again. Well, I thought I wasn't allowed to talk anymore. Well, I mean, you're allowed to. You just have to manage what you speak. You, you see, there's those mixed sec no, there's those mixed signals again. You can talk, but you gotta watch what you say. But, but, but I have no filter. Obviously, you can talk, but you can't talk. I can talk, but I can't say what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's it's a whole you don't have to leave, but you can't stay here kind of deal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I think the well is down as of right now. If you wanted to put something in, you should be able to just give uh, give that rep to me. Just type in donate. 
Bubbernaut underscore CCE and then the amount. Just like that. Look at that. I donated to myself. Oh. Welcome back. Who did that? Buster! I unplugged my headset and uh, it disconnected. And Hateful bitch. <laughs> Boing. So you wanted to put in. Let's see here. Let's see. So Klaus is getting a quirk, a silly quirk, something something easy. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Show me what you got. <laughs> well, Buster is is on it, man. He wants you to suffer again. You have to explain your magic, sir. It's pure I'm science. You're, you're going to counter it? <laughs> yeah. All right. He's going to counter it. I have a feeling we're going to be combat heavy this session, and I don't want to have to explain what I'm doing after every spell. Because it's going to be okay. a lot of them. It's going to be Buster, a lot of them. <laughs> he, he is going to donate to counter to counter your silly. He says, uh, not nah, not today. Lucicene, what, uh, what do we have here? What, what kind of quirk are you trying to put in? How much is it for the silly? Two thousand. Okay. Buster, Buster he's three thousand. Oh, is it three? Th oh, then maybe I looked wrong. Roleplay is. He did, pay 3, did he pay three thousand? Yeah, I can still cheat. He, he did that. donate three thousand. So, oh, it is three thousand. Forgive me. Um, so okay. yes. I'll send another thousand your way. Thirteen. On Schnuiper. There you go. There's three thousand. Thank you. Tits, what are you doing? Failing miserably. Oh shit! Will. I think Will he died. Is, Will is El Ripperino. All right, so let's see here. That's wow. Okay, loose scene. That's woo. GG Klaus is away. We will play. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm still here, kind of. Good, 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 good. So, you uh. Well, you countered it. Tits came in, and he said, keep that quirk on Klaus. Okay. Oh, man. Splodes is, is jacked in, in the rep section. Not as jacked as Tits, but, uh... Not as jacked as Tits! Harakto, what's going on, man? Can I get someone to smash his toe again? Against furniture with six rep. Ah, oh, not quite. Not quite. Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a, a rep duel right here? Probably oh my God, will I be. I feel like. We'll I feel like I need. Yeah, to... but why is it gotta be? Yeah, I mean, guys, come on, just go ahead and find a better quirk. This is. You know, have it where he has to dance through combat. Then uh oh, he can only it's go happening. Ahead and blow his spells off with a finger waggle. I'll take take uh, cover. The war is coming in. Tits is countering it with another three thousand reputation. I to blow thirty thousand. Just in case something <laughs> really bad comes through at some point or another. Oh yeah. Well, I might just I might just take it. Yeah. Okay. Six six thousand rep is enough for. Six to the six thousand is enough countering. for the night. Yeah, that's okay. That's for me All right, my countering budget for the night. Okay, so it sounds like you are going to get stuck here with uh, explaining. So what is this? Is this number 19 on Silly? I think so, yeah. I think that's what he said. Number 19, Silly. Klaus. Okay, guys. We can take two more quirks. 
You don't need all that rep tits. <laughs> Shit. Come on, guys. We need two more quirks. I know you guys can do it. <coughs> Grant Horum a Pokeball. Um, Horum is basically a Pokemon as is. True. So... The only words you know is like his, his own name. I'm like Bidoof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, not even a good Pokemon from a good generation. Hey, excuse me. I'll have you know I identify as a Bidoof. You could not. Uh, I'm sorry. Bidoof. I'm more of a, I'm more of a Bidoof Ruby, is OP. Ruby Emerald Sapphire kind of guy. Bidoof is OP, okay. He can learn Headbutt at level 9, and the flinch factor is so strong. I've been completely tanked by entire teams of Bidoofs. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it would suck. <laughs> Bidoofs will fuck your shit up, dude. Yeah, they will. They're vicious. How much for a honey badger pet? Jesus no, Christ. No, no honey tickle. badgers, no. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can get two more in there. I know we can. Let's yeah, see. Just think of all the terrible, terrible things I deserve. Right now, we have Red Eeps, a.k.a. Austin, a.k.a. Cicada. He is completely unquirked, as is, and Horum, also known as Innuendo, he is lacking quirks this evening. Surely you guys can't let this stand. You know, or you can spare me and give me, like, a Pokeball instead. I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna smack you. That's what I'm gonna do. But you already did. You already smacked both me and Red. Yeah, but I want to do it again, okay? Well, hey, if you guys need to go ahead and think of some way to go ahead and just spend a stupid amount of rep, I could always use better armor. Jesus Christ. Snapper's gonna be the million rep man. He really is. But, um, but God, last time you smacked me, I heard chocolate for days. It was like chocolate rain out of my ears for like the next three days. Tades on day implanted in your brain. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get it out. It was a mix of Tades on day and Kai Lopez. And it was, he was just, it was just, he was just walking around for days. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. <laughs> All day. All day. You can't break his armor. You can't, you can't actually destroy his armor. <laughs> you have to be more creative than that, Tits. You can put a rust monster in. No. Uh, a rust monster not, that only I'm not targets saying you should. Personally. I'm just no, saying no rust you monsters, could. Please. Those things make me sad. I don't know what it is about the, like how close the collar is on your shirt to your neck, Austin, but you definitely look like you're out of like a 90s boy band. Like... <laughs> It's it's the hairstyle and the, and the clothes yeah. T-shirt and the chain. In the yeah. chain? No, it, it really is. Like I was waiting on him to be like, I was at a club Dance earlier and someone was doing. There was a poetry off and we couldn't clap, so we had to snap to everything. Snap laws. Snap laws. Snap laws. <laughs> it's the chain for show. <laughs> Alright, well that was the shortest duel of rep that I've seen in a long time, but I'll take it. Look, I went through that at one point with, I don't remember who it was, and or, or what turbo. Work, but It was for Turbo for Royal Magic. Was it? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, it was. I spent a lot of my rep that night. And we need it again. Turbo. We need it again, that's for sure. Alright, guys. So. I think this is where we are going to return. It doesn't look like anybody else has any kind of quirks or anything they want to throw in. Or at least things that they are not sure they want to do. Less boy bandy. Yes, yes, less, less boy bandy. I mean, I wasn't saying you had to take off your chain and change your shirt, but I didn't. No, I didn't take off the chain. Chain's still on. Okay. But it's just there. Hey. But no, actually, given that it is a bub stream, yeah, he had to take off his shirt. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Truth. So. So friends, we're going to continue where we left off, which was you guys entering into, oh, let's see here. I've got to get to the right page, and I can tell you exactly what you're entering into. I seem to have lost my page, but I'll find it again. It's not too hard. 
Hey, that's where I want to be. You had entered into... Oh, yes, the entry chamber. The entry chamber, very good. Okay. So, let's pick this just fine. Again, uh, describing the area before you. It's red and green tinted frescoes cover the wall in this largely empty chamber. A set of carved stone doors stand opposite the main entrance, flanked on the left by a fresco of a frog creature carrying a strange staff with a two-tined fork on both ends. And on the right, a squat male humanoid in plate armor with a black sphere where his head should be. Frescoes to either side depict hundreds of red spear-wielding kuatuos marching through underdark caverns. Curved shards of what look like thin, fragile porcelain cover the floor. Passageways lead east and west from here. So which direction do we head in first? Left, right, north, what are we what are we doing? Heads we go left, tails we go left. Left it is. Sounds like we're heading left. Any, you volunteered to go first. You're the light source. I shall go. I don't have light, I just see everything. You guys No, you no, guys no sniper is. Jared, Jared is the one emanating the light. He's got a point. Who is carrying the... I'm carrying um, a lantern. I'm carrying no. cardboard cutout. If that's that's right, cardboard asking. cutout. Mm -hmm. um, Horum and Jared, can I get uh, perceptions from you two? No. Come on. No, you can't. You can get one, but it's not going to be very good. I lied. You're going to get one that is pretty good. All right. Yeah, apparently the acid finally kicked in. Yeah, finally. I see sound. As you begin peering around the room, uh, you find that there's something very strange about this black orb. Uh, this orb in the place of the man's, uh, where the man's face would be the man's skull. Um, well, it is a squat humanoid male. It looks as if there is some kind of depiction. Um, something has been painted over this this orb to make it look like a male human. Uh, upon further investigation, it looks sort of like the description of Zenith himself. Hmm. So there's a painting on the orb, which is the size of a human head. Yes. Of Zenith. Correct. Well, seeing as none of us know what Zenith really looks like, and it just looks like a really cool orb, yeah, Jared's just going to go ahead and take it. Hmm. I never I swear to God, it's um, going to be a fucking orb of, like, force control. Do I see him taking this orb? You guys see him kind of looking at it very intently. Um, all right, wait, you've, you've had your weapon drawn, correct? Yeah, yeah. it's over at the shoulder. Okay, so you want to take this off of the, the statue itself? Yeah. All right. Um, it's not something that you can grip just basically in the palm of your hand. You will need to um, kind of press it against your chest um, and, and in between like your, your forearm and your hand itself. Um, it looks as if it's been, it's been placed on there. Um, go ahead and give me a strength check. Can no, you drop it on I your toes? Well, it's not like it's the size of a bowling ball. Yeah, if but anything, it probably weighs like one. No, if anything, it's probably about the size of that palander. Give me a strength check. Yeah, yeah. That one. How do you know it's not me? I'm, I'm trying to remember which sheet is mine. I've got Dark a bunch matter. of fire sheets. <laughs> I would assume it's the one that says Jared on it. Yeah, you think I'm, he names I'm a sheet? Through until I pull the one that says Jared out. He names them after after character traits. All right. Instead of their actual <laughs> names. So this one's something along the lines of uh, fish man slashy slashy at my teammates. <laughs> the gotcha. Teammate uh, as you are trying to remove the the orb from the shoulders, you you kind of feel it rock forward, um, and. You begin to lift it off, but you hear an audible, like, slurch noise, like a... 
as if something had been crushed beneath it or there was some kind of liquid adhesive something that was keeping it mounted to the top of the statue so I'm not quite able to go ahead and lift it off no but you are able to get it to move well well, that's just being a tease so yeah he's going to go ahead and set his sword propped against the wall probably right about here okay. close enough to hand and sure. he's just going to go just double fist in it just like Lift it off. You must be really short. He is. He is. <laughs> you were you were lifting above your head, and this thing's a dwarf. <laughs> or some stout humanoid. I don't know if it's a dwarf or not. A dwarf? Yeah. Yeah, so not a dwarf. This isn't one of Jim's. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Ha, um, got him. Sure. Give me a give me a new strength check, please. Yeah, hopefully not quite as bad as the last one. That's better. It is better. Um, sure. It doesn't take much more, but you're able to tear away the blackened orb from the top of the statue. As you remove the blackened orb from the top of the statue, you hear that slurching was good, as like it kind of schlumps away, almost like it was not naturally placed there. Um, what do you do then? Do you peer at the base of the statue? Do you I'm gonna look try to pocket this thing? Orb. Okay, uh, as you look at the bottom of the orb, uh, it appears that there is a split in the orb itself, uh, almost like that of uh, the opening of maybe a backpack or maybe the opening. Think a bit more of a tighter version of a xenomorph egg. Oh, so it's actually like hollowed out in the end, you know, in the middle. Potentially, potentially. Well, you know, there can only be goodies inside, and it kind of you know, break it open like pinata. Well, it kind of reminds me of a. Well, it's made out of stone. It's not something he can just kind of Steve Rogers. But yeah, he'll go ahead and maybe you can't. <laughs> but no, he'll Look go ahead and shove. shove a hand up in there. Okay. Mm, um. All right. When you begin moving your hand to the inside of this darkened orb, you begin pushing past the um, almost the the, the curved. Um, I I want to say like it's the mouth of the orb itself. Um, you feel that there are things that are kind of jagged and pointed, placing against your uh, your hands and your wrist. You feel like you you're, you've moved to the point where your fingers are probably about four or five inches inside. You're not quite. You're not quite fisting the orb at this point, if that makes sense, but you, uh, you've you gotten to the point where um, you can feel there are pressures, like these very sharp points, against each of your uh, each of your digits, against the back and the front side of your hand. So there is obviously something inside here. Something small, something sharp. Something squishy. When well, we're about to find out. If I go ahead and move my fingers slightly against him, do they rock or jiggle, or are they all very firmly affixed? So, show me, show me, right now, put your hand up to the camera, and show me how you wanted to move your fingers. Uh, well, I mean, I figure, if I got my hand in there, I'm feeling things here, 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 and here, right? Yes, yes, it's, it's like, like, it's down... It's down. To, it's you. You don't quite have your your entire hand in it, but it's probably down to just about the base of your hand. So he's got like this much. Yes. Yeah, and at this point, he just wants to go ahead and like press his fingers against these points and just give a wiggle, side to side, you know, laterally. When you begin, to, when you begin to lower your fingers, as if uh, you're kind of gripping it like uh, that of like a, a bowling ball. Um, as you begin to bend your fingers, you feel something move upward, and it there is reverse resistance, and it starts to pierce into the tips of your fingers. Mm. Yeah, that's no good. We'll go ahead and start pulling that hand out. I sure. need that. As you begin you sure? to as you begin to remove your hand from this darkened black orb, um, much like that of a Chinese finger trap, you feel it begin to grip around the base of your hand. And you now begin to feel these hooks that are piercing into the flesh of your palm, 
and into each of your fingers. You feel the grating of something almost metallic or stone uh, grating against the ivory of your fingers itself. Guys! The more you you move, the more you move, the more intense it becomes. What did you do? Well, of course I'm going to stop trying to you know, yank my hand out. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna kinda I'm gonna kinda slow turn with his left hand in the ball and his right kinda cupping it. Nice. I turn to Klaus, so it won't let go. <laughs> Are we supposed to feel bad? I I I don't, I, but I, I, I want him to be useful, so I'm gonna see what I can do, I guess. I think that's what he gets for putting his fingers where they shouldn't be. Yeah, you shouldn't stick your hand into things in a in a fish dungeon. It was consenting. Yeah, because it wants to eat your hand. Just just it's hold for your safety, not for not for the consensual means. Hold card Boris and I'll uh I'll see what I can I'll, do about I'll, this. I'll hold on to him. <laughs> hold card <laughs> Boris? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna step over to uh, Jared and the orb. J- Give me perception. Jared and the orb. Oh God! I never thought I'd see it. Ah, uh, Klaus has got to play with my ball. Sixteen. Sure. Um, you see that this uh, this orb has more or less moved its it's like it's it's not really shaped much like an orb anymore it's shaped a bit more um uh, like an egg it's got it's got a bit of an oval structure to it um and you can't tell if it's because he's been trying to pull his hand out or if there is another it. reason oh yeah okay um as soon as your your vision uh pallidly switches to that gray uh into the spectrum of arcane yeah this is a magical this is something magical about this yes Son um, of a bitch! Can I uh, can I switch what? on my detect evil before? Ooh, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, when you flip on detect evil, it does not appear to be evil. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna announce. Um, well, whatever it is, it's not evil. Likely it's magical. magical. Definitely magical. Can confirm. Can Can you explain it? I can try. Um, what do I know about this book? Does anything look familiar at all? Um, Knowledge Arcana? No, not really. Uh, nothing immediately leaps out to you. Knowledge um, Science? Seeing now that this is magical and you can see in the spectrum, um, you can see a bit beyond the surface. Uh, you're okay. getting this almost musculature, like this this muscular structure beneath the uh, the shell. Um, and it seems to be some kind of some kind of living creature. Oh, so it's a magical living creature uh, that you just stuck your hand in. Uh, so I mean, if you, he sticks his hand into the thing's mouth and it just eats it, you do I see mean, that there appears to be another end, <laughs> much like traditional Chinese, much like traditional Chinese finger trap. There is, in fact another opening to this okay. it looks as if the muscles uh it looks it doesn't look like they're all attached picture like a, a sphincter if you will uh except yep. where this would be like tightened and coiled um there are these like Stay long finger like rivulets that have moved upward and it's come to uh, to a point uh giving a sort of sphincter but you can't really see any exit on the opposite side however you do see some very strange markings Okay. Yes, read this magic orb's ass. I would love to, actually. Yeah, I would. I would love to read magic it. See what, okay. what the hell this thing is. Keyless, what's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for that follow, my uh, my new friend Paranoia eighty seven. Welcome to the fam. Hope you're doing well. Um, as you begin looking over this structure, it doesn't appear to be like written in any kind of sort of special way. It doesn't look like it's any sort of um, arcane text that you're familiar with, or any kind of language, um, but there is a pattern to it. 
Okay. Um, it looks sort of like an unbloomed flower. Now, now watch it says, don't put hand inside. <laughs> an unbloomed flower. So I would want to make it bloom, per se. Uh, potentially. Potentially, yes. So a couple ideas I've got here, Jared. Um, we can try and rip it off your hand, but that might take your hand with it. And this is my We can just cut hand. it off. It's a lot easier to, to to sew three butt cheeks into one than it is to reskin a hand. Mm -hmm. I Trust agree. Me, I did it with another the tail. another option. Um, I could try to coerce it to open with a little bit of fire, if that sounds up your alley. Wouldn't that bake his hand though? But he'd still have. It's this a possibility. Skin. He, he oh. would still have. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get Jared's hands back. Well, might, might, might I make a suggestion? If we're talking about coercing it off my hand out of, you know, something like that, maybe, say, we can go back to the river and just put it in the water. Maybe, maybe it doesn't like being wet. Anything that isn't going to set me well, on look, fire. Look, that's, that, maybe, that'll take way too long. Maybe if you put it in the water, it'll bite down, though. Take yeah, me it might to get the its strength river. back. <laughs> Take me to the water. Put me in the water. Look, you can bring a black <laughs> orb to the water, big water big but that doesn't big mean you can make it get off. Well, I mean, Pretty I mean, if, the it, goes. if it's bite, if it bites, it has to breathe, right? False. In theory? Yeah, yeah, in, in theory, but we're not. You... These aren't normal creatures anymore. Hey, 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 hey! I'm just saying, it's worth a shot. Bub, can I walk over to it and tap it with the edge of my scythe, like the the cane part of it, just to see how uh, sure. like, hard and thick it is? If it's sure, like you if can, it's uh... hollow or if it's like a rock. Uh, as you as you tap uh, the outside of this uh, this orb, the structure itself seems to be incredibly dense. Well, I don't think we can cut through it, but we can cut through his hand. I don't think but... that's the best option here. But that's that, my second that favorite take, hand. That may take a while. It would probably take like 127 hours or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> some some ballpark estimate like that. Something, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back. And at this point, Jared is going to go ahead and start walking to the river. Because... You're welcome to try. To turn to the rest of them. So how long do you think before he comes back missing a hand? Hey, 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 you guys want to set him. me on fire, bitches. Hey, I merely suggested that I could heat it up and that would maybe release you from its grips. But, you know, if you want to just dunk it in some water, that'll work too, I suppose. See, the way I see it, he offered to heat it up a little bit and then you countered by putting your hand in the tentacle-filled lake. I feel like the fire is the better choice there, but that's my opinion. Just a, just a personal qualm with tentacles. You guys can either come watch my back or not. Nope. Have fun. I'd, I'd rather... I'll An all too familiar voice, uh, Klaus, as you begin descending the steps with your ally, trying to see what, uh, what could possibly happen. You, my father, he had, he had been with things like this. He was a creator. If you remember, of course. Uh, we talked about it a few times. I recall. What What are you suggesting? Well, you can see that it's magical, no? Uh, clearly, yes. Well, I can see that it's magical as well. And I'm afraid that, despite your ally's mental incontinence, I think that there are some things that we could do about this. My father always told me that magic reacts to magic. And this is something oh. that I would suggest for you. Please tell me you're not going to tell me that we need to go ahead and set my hand on fire. Fire, no, but he could potentially shock you, could he not? I could do that. I'm not opposed. Well, it, that, that hurts a lot. Is there, is there something that's less painful? You know what else hurts a lot? Losing your hand. 
So I think we've better go with whatever option doesn't. But right now, whatever. right now, this is a Schrodinger's hand. It might be bitten off. It might not. We know what happens when you hit me with a bolt of lightning. Hey, yeah, what do you know? Maybe, maybe something will just click, and then it'll bite down, and it'll replace your arm, and it'll just kind of live there as oh. as a sentient you know what? being I... attached to you. Before you stick it in the water, let me let me let me try something, Jared. I, I believe I've got a little bit of a trick. You might think it might be magic, but uh, it's just a little trick I picked up over the years. Uh, locks, things like that, they tend to react to it. Um, I'm gonna try to open close the creature and see if it will do anything to the specifically targeting the like flower-like sphincter thing. Okay. All right. Um... Go ahead. Oh, Let's see your spell. It turns out to work on that. We're never going to piss him off again. Could you imagine in the middle of a bar? Just open close. I'm going to open close that sphincter, if you know what I'm saying. So you have been struck with the quirk of explaining that you, uh, you have this magic, but you know how it works. You know the gist behind it. Now, are you going to explain since this is happening, or are you going to wait until after it's over? No, it's um, re- really it's it's simple stuff. I mean, clearly, you you give it a few taps um, to determine the location of the uh, fulcrum in the lock. Yeah, the fulcrum, that thing. Um, <laughs> then yes, yes, the fulcrum. Then you give it a little twist, just, just a little little twist. A, a small twist, but not as small as my potential penis. I thought you wanted a large one. Anyway, then you just tap it with the palm of your hand. Just just a little tap. Just a a little tap? Just a little tap. Little tap. It'll open right up for you. Promise. Every time. Tappity tap, 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 tap. Tap a room. Just a little. Okay. How about? I will uh, attempt my patented method. Pulling the orb up, um, probably... You know, just in front of him in that fist pump stance, uh, you begin to cast your spell. Uh, after you've explained this, you know, about the fulcrum and the tapping and all of these various things, um, the moment that you begin to cast the magic, this blackened orb begins to almost turn at the top like uh, knotted, gnarled fingers. It begins to, to tilt and open like that of a blooming flower. And as it begins to bloom open, you see that the opposite side um, where this quote-unquote anus is that Sniper's been speaking about multiple times, uh, it looks like it opens up, but instead of it being like a petal, it's much like that of uh, wildly fanged tentacles. Um, and as it begins to bloom open, you see that there is this uh, gnarled like mass in the center uh, that seems to be undulating. And as it opens up, you get this wicked almost scream from your arcane magic that's been channeled through it. Uh, Sniper, I need a strength check immediately as this thing begins to come to life, wrapped around your hand. You begin to feel this thing drive your hand around, and you fail. (laughs) You critical fail at a vital moment. Damn it. I I am so shocked and horrified, and it's just like... (sighs) Noticing the... uh, You still don't need to feel bad for this, right? No. Noticing the <laughs> pulse of bath, though, fault. I am going to call out for, uh... Sakata! Horum! Get here! Now! All right. Completely yeah. unawares to what's going on, as this thing begins to open up, you hear a... <laughs> and it seems to, like, writhe around his fist. As this does, Sniper, it overpowers your arm and latches onto your face like a face hugger. Come on, Innie. As it begins to bite onto your face, to tear away at the flesh, and grab onto the pieces that make up your physical visage, I need a reflex from you, because it is so, um, it's so unwarranted, unknown, you were not expecting this. It drives you, it almost moves you. Um, you were un- unexpected, so give me a reflex, please. Okay, alright, so... Follow me, if this, if, if you will. As you guys begin running down the steps, you see something has bloomed from the fist of Sniper. Where there was once a solid black orb, there is now a black tentacled, almost uh, 
arcane rose of things that has bloomed from his fist, wrapped onto his face, and he's beginning to panic, where he begins stepping around the wet stone. I set the DC at 14. As you're running down the steps, Horam, you see that he begins to fall backward. He's beginning to fall down the steps. I'll need reflexes from only two of you. And I'm going to say that it's Horam and Klaus. Yeah, no, I'm because, carrying Yes, Cardboardist. That's right. Please, man, if, if I at end up three, having to roll a sheet... It's still a 15, though. Why do you have plus 12 to reflex? Because I'm... Because... I don't know. Pal it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's paladin, it adds your... Uh, it adds your charisma modifier oh. to all of your... Your checks, and I've got a six charisma modifier. Okay, all right. Give me strength checks, please. That's not a macro. Sniper, what is your armor like? I'm real bad at this stuff. Um, it's not on my face. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what? Please describe to me your armor. Uh, my armor is. You have played, don't you? Yeah, plus two masterwork plate. Master work is so shit. That I'm so proud of you. you know, I managed to go ahead and just. That's what get we get from sleeping behind Crazy Jared's hut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's perfect. Uh, you guys are able to get your hands on him, but courtesy of the the wet stone, the water, the condensation that has built up on his plate armor, he slides from your fingers as he begins to caterwaul back into the water. With a loud floosh noise, his body sinks like a stone immediately. Um, you are, you find yourself, sir, being surrounded by water on all sides as something is devouring your face. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of damage here. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Be gentle. Take eight. Or, or roll max, you know. Take eight. Wastika, what's going on, man? Are these uploaded to YouTube? Uh, these nope. Nope. are vodded, Wastika. They they are vodded for your convenience. Uh, they are currently not on YouTube, but they are saved. They are saved here, so they can be watched at any time. Yep. I will be taking some time in the future, and I will migrate these all over to YouTube. It's going to take me some time, but they will also be posted in the Discord for anybody that's interested in watching. There is a new VODs tab, and one of our moderators, uh, if not our editor... Uh, Scheist Leah will be dropping those in there as a VOD. So yes, you have taken uh, eight uh, in the situation. You find yourself fully submerged, Sniper. It doesn't feel like you've fallen that far, but you weren't aware of how deep this water actually was. Um, so, your ally has fallen. He's hit the water itself. Can you get up? Uh, well, I, I suppose that he possibly could if his face wasn't being eaten okay. by well, see, an arcane I, I ass flower. I call life alert, so as long as we don't have to, that's good. Right, I, I think, think he's they... fallen and he can't get up. Yeah, see, I don't think they come down here. They I, I think there's something to about having to go across the river by offering their soul. I think it makes them less likely to come over. No, they started out with soul, but that was You got me something? Yeah. Cool. I got Guys, a gift. I just, I, they bought me I something. I just want to go ahead and remind you that, you know... What's this? These, this is not a good thing. Yeah, it's usually not good when you stick your hands in random black objects what? in the mouth. Not in the least. It's a light up Godzilla. It, like, it lights, its mouth lights up yeah. and he makes noise. Oh shit. Sounds like I've, a badass. I've destroyed, the, I've destroyed the box. Uh oh. I feel like it's like a really kick ass Cracker Jack toy. How does he light up? I don't know. Oh, I just forgot how insane my Oh, I see it. There's was. a tab right there. Beautiful. Uh, hold on, I guys. I'm going to put this sweet toy together. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> well, the sweet toy. Oh, I just <laughs> noticed that uh, Faye got a custom link for our Discord. I just bit my tongue. Bit that oh, yeah. That cord. That cord. Discord? That cord. Yeah. Alright, hold on. So this is hopefully the macro for Intimidate. Works. 
I love how this works, you know. I, I've got a, an yes. arcane death flower wrapped around my fist and my face. I'm drowning slowly. I've fallen in water in heavy armor. We're going to put Nothing together a go Godzilla wrong. toy. Oh, my God. So, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, my God. You, you leave my Godzilla toy alone. And Godzilla stickers. Oh, my God. Zilla. <laughs> Stickers so too. Bad. Oh my God, he's got stickers too. That is so I don't actually. Dope. I don't actually know. Can I see? Wait a minute. Hold on. But yeah, go ahead and let Leslie know. I'm about to roll up a new character. <laughs> Woo! He, he might be rolling a new character. He may be drowning. No sniper. It's, it's times like this where you need attached. to swim. There you go. Yeah, when I it need to really swim. It doesn't really want to attach. Because that would, swimming is the least of your worries right now, if, if you could. Yes, it doesn't want to attach. It's not the swimming that's going to kill you. It's the drowning that's going to kill you. Don't bite your tongue. Yeah, between the and the drowning and, you know, my friends trying to hit me with lightning or I mean, fire. I, I didn't head. even attempt to hit you with lightning. I just tried to open <laughs> the thing up, which yes. it worked. It worked. He didn't, he didn't try and hit you with lightning yet. To be fair, yes, you only made it worse. He's supposed to light up and make noise. It says you're supposed to push on the scales on his back. I'd say worse is an objective term. Oh! This is so poorly designed! The this, this spikes are just stabbing me! <laughs> it says push so, on the spikes on his back to activate his light and sound. No, it doesn't Wish. work! It's just stabbing me! It doesn't work! <laughs> now you know how I feel! Um, Tits, are you asking if my, like, character is bloody? I mean... Nah, dude, man. I, I was at full health going into this, so... That ain't nothing. Because he's a little bee and he runs away from dragons it's in combat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, ah, okay, 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 okay. Um, no, Sniper is not bloody. Oh, and Godzilla st stickers, yes. Thank you, thank you for the overlay. Thank you, thank you very much for the overlay comment. I, I appreciate that. Well, here's your tiny broken Godzilla. Okay, I'll take my Stay tiny broken wild. Godzilla. It's still pretty neat. Have all over here. A cool little. What? What? Can Can you stop giving me things? That's it. That's it. Well, I appreciate it. Cool Guys, Demogorgon. she also got me a Demogorgon from Stranger Things. That's badass. It is. What's a it's a. It's a. It's from uh, Pop. Did you not uh, watch it's the show? The Pop Fig. No, I've not watched the show. You need to watch the show. What are you doing with your life? It's eight episodes long. It's fantastic. Well, apparently yeah, it's I'm dying. Pretty amazing. I'm sorry, That's what I'm doing noise. with my life. It's okay. It's, all right. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, no, it doesn't. Hey. He was like twelve bucks. Hi. Well, take him back. Give me the box and everything. Take well, him back. If he was actually twelve dollars. Take take his ass back. Okay. I got. I got. I got to keep doing this. Medicine and pass out, kind of go to bed. All right, go ahead. Mm. Love you. Have love you. I will. I'm, I'm on love it. You, love you, Leslie. They said they love you too. Love you. <laughs> Shut the door. They lied. Goodness gracious. Who? So, someone said something. Someone. Mishra 100, Blood Red Karma. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Welcome to the fam. I am appreciative. So, um, yes, we have Sakata at 20. And then 21, what are you strength checking for? Or what are you doing? No, I was, I was testing my macros because I was filling them back out. Ah, gotcha. Makes just, sense. Just making sure that they worked. That was my Wonderful. climb and my swim. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so you wanted to... Oh, your climb and swim. Gotcha. Yes. Now back to killing no, Jared. Uh, That's right. My bad. Can I intimidate right. the thing on his hand? We're currently no. underwater. He is <laughs> if I scream currently at him hard enough, will it, will it start biting harder? Hey, uh, this question, is... Bub. Go ahead. If I were to cast Fly on Jared, would he be able to get himself out of the water, or would that be unaffected by the fact... Like, would it effectively work as like a free swim check every time? I'm, I'm kind of blind. Well, I mean, you can still fly when you're blind. You can feel if you're in the water or not. Oh, so yeah. you're you're trying to see if you can go ahead and cast. He's fly. getting rid of that whole drown issue. Yeah, I don't want I you hit the to drown before this thing kills you for being stupid. Sniper, what is your what is your constitution score, please? Down enough. 
Uh, my constitution score? Yeah. Yeah. 14. 14. 14. Okay. And, um, and Bubs is sounding just like, that's going to change. Um, Makes that while over. this is... While this is going on, uh, it is important to note we didn't for guys we did not forget the quirks. Uh, I didn't immediately say them, but we didn't forget them. So we had number nineteen, silly on Klaus. Klaus, you think any magic done is a trick, and it tries to explain how it works with science? What's up, VP Snipes? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. And number thirteen, mechanical on Sniper. Sniper, you taunt every creature. It doesn't matter how dangerous it is. So apparently, fisting this wasn't enough of a taunt. Nope. nope. See, you, maybe you we'll just nice we'll just consider this a taunt. You now went you in need open. To blurb at it. No, no. See, he went in open palm. You would have had to go in fist first, like just straight in there. That's the real way to taunt it, right? That's that's the real way. That yes, that's the that's the taunt magic right there. That's how I taunt my friends. <laughs> VP snipes are doing pretty good, man. So far into them that they can't smell anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus uh. Christ. All right. Okay. That being said, since this has occurred, um, yes, you technically could, but he will get uh, he he'll get a save. He's not sure if it's you casting magic upon him or someone else, and he's not very smart when it comes to magic, so he's gonna get a save against it. Okay. Um, how far under the water is he at this point? Uh, you can see him, thri like basically thrashing around in in the water. Okay, so he's like, kind of surface level ish. Well, guys, uh, he's about. I could only just do a swim. I, I mean, granted, I can't it's... see which direction I'm going, but I say. you can generally tell which direction is up when you're underwater. Speaking from experience, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, as a lifeguard, I have familiarity with how people know which way is up and down. You know, as a lifeguard, you're in water. As a lifeguard and someone who swam, for it's years. it's the way that your body is trying to take you at any point in time <laughs> because you're filled with air. No, dude. No, dude. He his starts swallowing water. <laughs> going to be now, going. His, up. Uh, now, let's let's see you do it blindfolded with one hand and in heavy armor. Gravity Little do you actually know, but see. but yeah, Jared's I don't head. I actually want to die. So. Your body would still probably pull upwards. It's the armor that'd be pulling you downwards. Jared's head is actually filled with stones, so he's used to his ass floating. <laughs> whoa, 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 Do not confuse me with the brick. Okay, I wait, don't know. I, the brick what's... didn't stick his hand in a random black object. What's, hey, what's hey, on hey, my hey, hands hey, right hey, now? Hey, hey. That sounded oddly, right. oddly racist. <laughs> not sure why. Good God. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't see that one. I could have just left it with "stop sticking your hand in random objects." You I mean, that, go yeah. ahead and throw a color out there. <laughs> there I mean, why, why, it's, why you gotta be like that, it's, man? It's true. It's true, though. You ain't gotta. I mean, you did. You went there, but you ain't gotta. It, it was. It was necessary for for the terms. Guys, if you are new to stream, feel free to come out. You don't have to lurk in the back. I know that a lot of people look. I've been approached by streamers about this. I've been approached by other viewers. There is this unspoken rule about how you're supposed to leave your lurkers alone. Now, that's true. That is true. That doesn't mean that you have to avoid them at all costs. It's not like there's some legendary creature that wishes to not be spotted. Sometimes people just look for an opportunity to come out. So, I'll say your name once. If you don't want to talk, don't say anything. Don't, don't feel offended. I do this all the time. But there's some of you guys that are new here that I am totally okay with uh, with having. So Tanika, Spardock, Skin Trader, Nolvalu, Mr. Frank Sono, Kickin' Puppies, Kalewin, I Hate Registering, Fagwent, Cool Hand, and Camelon. Thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting the stream. That means a lot to me. Along with all of my regulars, you guys are kick-ass. I love your faces. I hope you stick around for a long time and allow me to love you a long time. Can he recognize the caster's voice and direction? Um... Okay, so this is my theory, Fire Warrior. He's in a situation, he finds himself in the Underdark, or an area that is just past where a Hydra was, where he's just found out that is inhabited by a species or a creature that, I guess, prays to an underwater evil deity, right? So, yeah, he's bad. on edge. He's on, on edge already. 
and he willingly sticks his hand inside of either the mouth or the ass of a magical orb creature of which he is not familiar to. They then touch it with magic. It opens up and begins to eat his face. <laughs> Sorry. As it begins to eat his face, he panics, steps back, falls down a flight of steps into the water. If I were him in the situation, already declaring that he is not an adventurer, but he is just someone that's trying to take care of his town, if he was me in that situation, I would be screaming. With this creature attached to my face, I would be screaming as loud as humanly possible. Now, if you throw that screaming and the water in over the top of it, plus whatever noises this thing is making on his face, the likely chance of him hearing someone else's voice is very, very limited. However, I will give him a, sh I'll give him a chance. Sniper, I can give you a perception. Okay. Um, before I go in after him, because I'm so shitty at swimming, um, I'm going to cast fly on myself first. Okay. And uh, then go in after him. I'm gonna I'm gonna go put cardboard ore up by the giant fish skull because this is gonna take a while. Yeah. Do yeah. you walk it back or? or yeah, do you I'm, find just, yourself... I'm just gonna walk it back. I'm just gonna okay. I'm just gonna come over here and just put it in the corner. Hey man, feel free to lurk, guys, if you want to lurk. But that's entirely okay. When is the next whispers? Uh, whispers will be um, tomorrow. tomorrow. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's tomorrow. Dragon Cement's Friday. <clears throat> Can I, can I throw my Pokeball so, out of his hand? No, you cannot. I've already got sorry, one. Sorry, Sprockets, I tried. So, you want me to go ahead and roll a perception real quick? Yes. It's going to be incredibly difficult. But I'll give you a chance. That is not going to cut the mustard. Not this time. Okay. Not this time. But, it was a good shot. Uh, yes, it will be a two-week... There was a two-week hiatus because of uh, sickness and... Um, Game Developer Con, that was GDC, and then PAX. And then there's another convention next week that Ben's going to go to. I don't even know what's going on, man. Like, March is just chock full of... of well, sorry yeah, dude. Going to spring. It's true. It really is. But, you know, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. We'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll run with it. It is what it is. Doesn't he literally have a class feature called Bravery? Um, He should. Yes. He should. Yeah. Me and him both Again, have it. I got protection against fear effects. Yep, but, but this, this isn't, isn't a fear. Yeah, this isn't something trying to scare this me. This isn't a fear effect. This is just him being yuck, scared. Yuck, 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 yuck. He's just yeah, like I, I, I think I, I think that's getting hung up on on a mechanic of of a class. Um, not so much playing on. The, I mean, the guy is like deathly afraid of spiders. Uh, that being said, he still has a spider okay inside of his this. armor. Mm -hmm. um, spider lives on him at all points in time. That's because the spider saved his ass from being a spawn of Kias. Yeah, that's right. That's a parasite that I think he would be happy with at this point. Uh, that being said, you have fallen into the water. You did cast that on yourself. Austin, you have placed this uh, card Boris back. Horum, what are you doing? Um, I, I can't do much. I was going to... I was gonna throw a rope in the water, but that's not gonna do much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back and be moral support. Sixty. <laughs> I'm gonna stand relatively close to the edge, just in case he tries to crawl out. I'm gonna. I can turn to the group and say I can, I can I can go swim and grab him. I don't want to, but I can. We could like spear him with a rope on the end and then pull him in. All right, Klaus. I actually like that idea more. Klaus, they are. They're actually having a very mild debate on how to save, how to save his life. I mean, I can't. I can't Meanwhile, fly. I'm going into the water to actually save his life. <laughs> Another round will presumably pass by as they are deciding this. Uh, he has cast fly upon himself. It is at least a standard action. I'm going to go ahead and roll uh, more damage. This thing eats into your face again. Take another six points, Sniper. You can Wait, feel... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't get to go ahead and have any action between the last no. damage and this one? Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. You can use... Yeah, you, you use Splash. Yeah, you're, you're Magikarp now. <laughs> you can splash away. You can splash away. I mean, did you want to punch yourself in the face and add to the damage? I'm okay with trust, this. No, trust me, it helps. It works. You lose a lot of HP. Yeah, punch this rock hard creature. Yeah, if you crit, then you might get your, uh, you might get you your might hand break stuck your fist. in the hole. <laughs> you get, he's just like this, just stuck. <laughs> okay. 
more damage. <laughs> I mean, you you can't you you will in fact get an action, but for for the I mean, it's either one of these things. You get your action now, you take the damage, or you get your action later and you still take the damage, unless you do something really wicked heroic. But the only thing I see Jared doing right now, unless which in case I'm prepared to be completely startled, he hits himself in the face. You should just lick it as much as you can. Actually, what so I was thinking he would do... Go. I mean, since we're thinking... At this point, he's going to feel the water. Okay. He's going to feel it getting in his armor and everything. And he's going to have a moment of clarity, and he's going to open his mouth wide and punch into his mouth. <laughs> he wants to go ahead and try and get enough leverage off his fist to bite into this. Oh. Okay, so you want you want to push your fist further into either A, the mouth, or B, the ass. So you can start chewing through its either esophageal or rectal lining. Okay. I hope it's the rectal lining. It, I hope, at, at I hope point, for neither. At this point, he has this weird arcane craving creature wrapped around his head. He's in water. He's starting to drown. He's kind of trying to just do something. Okay. Oh, no, All right. Sometimes the the nice sweet embrace of death. I just want to lift back and let cruise control kick. Well, in. the problem is I'm not going to die. I mean, that's Rebel, debatable. What's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? No, you, guys, you gotta remember. I, if I die, I, I just break the sea. This looks yeah. like it's still in a very bad direction. It is. Don't don't you worry. It very much is. We're, we're much more timid, of course. This is nothing like what I had in mind. Well, it didn't exactly react the way I hoped it would. It opened, but then the open end <laughs> attached itself to his face. So he wants to jam the tentacle monster down his throat. This sounds like a Japanese movie I saw one time. Yeah, no, it, it does. In fact. Um, Sniper, give me a strength, please. Oh, boy. Yeah, because this has been working out real well for me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You... <laughs> there is some kind of tension that's on your wrist. It seems like it lets your hand pass completely inside of this creature, but there is still much of a gap between your fist and your mouth. It feels like it's probably about a good eight or nine inches. What do you do? What do any of you do? Um, I'm gonna turn the horn and see if he'll give me the rope. I'm I'll gonna. Hand him, I'll hand him the rope. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure. Go ahead. I'm gonna put my pack down and uh, go in after him. I was gonna tell Horm to hold on to the other end, then dive in. For me to dive in? <laughs> no, it just. Okay, you, take the, you take this other end of the rope, and I'll dive in. I I can do that. Okay. Much while the well, splashing is going on, and you guys are like, eh, I think we should find the rope. I'll go in. I don't want to go in, but I will go in. I'm going to cast Fly on myself. I think I'm going to go up. You know... Yes, I think that this is probably going to go... You know, what is that? What's in the water? I feel as if... Why not go out here? As you begin to move forward... Of course. Something writhes, leaving dark, streaked lines... Over okay. the surface of the water. I'm gonna get out of the water. <laughs> is, is, is there something that I did today to warrant being this fucked? Yes, you put your hand inside of a random non You jammed your hand into, a, into an arcane... Le oh my god. You put your hand into an ancient mimic's ass. <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna swim back out. Never mind. Good oh, luck, Klaus. You. Woo! Go, Klaus. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe a reach around. I don't know. <laughs> technically, this. I is mean, if you want to reach around from this. Well, no. Technically, this is a reach around. Yeah. No. He's he's currently reaching around into his own mouth almost. Oh my goodness. 
Let me see if I know how to spell that. No thanks. I don't want. I I, I don't want Star Jammer. I'll pass. I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Since things are tending to be a little, a little confusing, I feel like the best way to handle this. Best way to handle this, my friends, is with. With an encounter, I know that you guys work well under pressure. So, time to roll initiative, huh? Yes, please. Give me okay. a niche. This is not how I expected to go ahead and start boosting health. I came into this at full health, man. Full health. Not quite, Rubble. Not quite a mind flare, my friend. God, please, no. Yeah, if it was a mind flare, it wouldn't enough. have even touched me. Yeah, there's no brain inside his head. Only rocks. That's why he's sinking so fast. He Rolls indeed. Rock. Rolls rock. indeed. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Alright, so in our initiative order, my friend. You're hearing you two under pressure. 1d20 plus 3. Alright, so Horum, what'd you get? I got an 8. 8. I got a 17. Jared, what'd you get? 16. Cicada, what'd you get? I got a 19. 19. Klaus, what'd you get? I got a 12. 12. That's in good. descending He's order. Jump on me, so I'm just going to put him here. Cicada! You happen yeah. to be first. Uh, you happen I'm to be first sure in the ship. Okay. Give me and perception, gonna, please. Uh, hold, uh, Thanks, fam. Hold on, kitty cat. I believe this is a cat. Uh. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I'm funny. I'm not really you are unable to make out what was in the water. This doesn't seem to be the same thing that was moving into the boat. So you've moved out of the water, up the steps. Are you waiting further? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn to Horam and say, uh, I'm not going back in there. But I mean, hey, uh, we might find another fighter down here. Okay. That'd be cool. My turn. Creatures begin moving. Making their way up the up uh, the side of the steps, you see that they're moving almost in like a foray of a tidal wave, a very small tidal wave of these creatures that are moving in the direction of uh, of Jared. They haven't quite made it to him, but it seems as if they are moving even off the walls here. Okay, Jared. Jared, 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 you're up, boss. Um, seeing as I got a little bit more traction and got my arm deeper, the he's going to have to go ahead and go with the tried and true. You can't go over or around, go through. If you can't get out, okay. Win. So he's going to try and start working his fist as deep as he can to try and get through. Sure. Go ahead. Give me another strength check. And Gonna end up with a uh, fucking Samus arm cannon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man! At least my dice are consistent, right? Even with your monumental strength, your unparalleled strength, you find yourself still struggling against the resistance of the creature who has a hold of your face, and end of which you took another seven points of damage, sir. Um, you can, since you have tried to push your hand further in, you can make another attempt to free yourself, if you'd like. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. You gonna try to bite into it further? Yeah. I mean, bite, thrash, claw, he's pretty much out of options, save to go ahead and do that. Well, I'm gonna give you an option here, okay? You can either... CM CMB versus CMD. 
you're either going to continue pushing forward to try to deal damage on the inside, or you can try to tear away. Bear in mind, it has a hold of your face. We're going to go ahead and keep pushing. <laughs> okay. Show me what you got, boss. Oh, man. The I, dice are just... Hey, like I said, my, my They're dice consistent. Pushes. They are consistent. Klaus, you're up. It's me. <laughs> um, Christ. Um, so this... How far away from Jared is this thing that's swimming? It doesn't seem like one thing. It seems like many things. Oh, uh, and that, they are... Wonderful. They are about ten feet away at this point. They've been moving in a way that looks... It seems to be making the water move all the way around, but now they're it seems like around away. Well, okay. my question here is, if, even though I'm under the water, am I able to be seen clearly enough for him to By go them? Ahead? Yes. By by Will, maybe? Oh, no. I'm you gonna... are You are capable of being seen. Yes. Uh, okay. Um... I can cast and move, right? Yes, yes you can. All right, I'm going to cast uh, actually fire shield on myself because I have a feeling I'm going to get bitten a lot for this. Okay. Um, so uh, Wouldn't basically, that... hmm? what? It might be different for Pathfinder, but don't you're not able to have two spells running at the same time? I don't believe. You. Fly uh, is it? Fly isn't it. continuous, hmm? or is it fly per round? Continuous. Yeah, I'm not like casting fly constantly. It's I cast it once and then it just kind of stays for the. So, hour. so this this shield is is this something that you have to maintain? Like you have to maintain focus of or? No, no, no. Okay, so he's focus. there. There are some overlaying things. You can't overlap okay. too many spells at once. It's like having bull strength and bear's endurance. You can't have both at the same time. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will. Oh god. Um, yeah, because I mean, I think both last for multiple rounds, which requires a concentration check. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try to. Will I be able to reach him this round? I mean, technically, you haven't cast a spell, so yeah, you and your fly is is relatively quickly. So yes, you could theoretically dive into the water, and then move outward. All right, but yeah, you'll need you'll need to get, get a hold to, of him. I'm just gonna try to get to Jared and grab a hold of him. Okay. Hopefully, anyway. Once you get a hold of him, here's the here's the issue. Once you get a hold of him, how are you gonna get him out? See, that's a great question. Um, I know that I can't lift him personally, um, so my best guess is to just cast fly on him as well and try to guide him up. Um, hopefully that will alleviate enough of his weight um, to bring him up with me, at least out of the water. Gotcha. Okay. All right. You wish to get to him and then cast a spell. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, sure. You uh, you can just leap off. Uh, give me an acrobatics. You can just basically leap over to him immediately. Sure. Uh, the fuck, uh... That's not that. It's not that hard. You basically leap about twelve feet out, and you are more or less right on top of him. Sniper, you feel something fluctuate over the water. You feel like you know how someone dives into a pool or a lake next to you, and you kind of get that that push, the water resistance against your body. Uh, that's kind of what happens here. Um, it sort of I'm, it, I'm it drives freak, you. I'm gonna freak the fuck out because I know my team would not jump in after me. You're right. Okay. Okay. Um. Shit, he begins to panic. Um, Klaus, you see him basically flailing and panicking against you. He, for one reason or another, is convinced that his allies would not come to get him. But that's completely befuddling <laughs> to you. He, why would he think that? Hmm. Hmm. Because I'm the dumb hero here. <laughs> oh, God. You're the hey, hero here, are you? There in, that, mine. in that case, I might just <laughs> let you figure this out on your own. You know, you're the hero. You'll come out all right, I'm sure. So you'd like to cast, 
do you, do you want to cast a spell on him then? Or yeah, I want I want to cast fly on him. Okay. Uh, um, but I, I would like to cast <laughs> fly on him. He is convinced that it's uh, it's an enemy of sorts, courtesy of what oh, he's just informed fine. me of. He's he's gonna get a save. What uh, what kind of resistance or what kind of save does he have to uh, to make to beat it? Uh, let's see, it's third level spell, so spell save DC is gonna be a sixteen. Good luck. You have to make a will save. Or is that a fortitude save? I don't remember I which one it is for you. I think it's will. It's that will. Sh- it's will with yeah. will. If it's anything having to do with spells, it's a will save. Sometimes. But hey, at least my dice have been consistent. You know, you don't Hope have you to roll a three. About this. Son of a bitch! <laughs> 16! Well, you it. So <laughs> that's even odd. even odd, that's right. Uh, in my games, it's even or odd in your favor, Sniper. Um, um, odd to take the spell. Odd to take the spell. Even you resist. Uh, you made her control a d2. Oh. Oh. oh, there you go. You resisted. Congratulations. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get tased. <laughs> you resisted arrest. Therefore, uh, <laughs> things are not looking good for you. <laughs> oh, horum, 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 horum. If some if drowning victim is flailing against you, you knock him out, and then you drag him out. Truth. Sorry, that's very true. Why? Why? Hey, my dice hate me, me today. To the water's edge. To the uh, to the shore's edge, rather. Twelve feet. Okay. Well, Twelve feet out. I want to get to the shore directly where he is, and uh, a little bit away from the water. But I want to be there when either he gets out or Klaus swims because I'm not getting in the water because I'm going to sink too, and that's just going to create a lot of problems. So basically, you're you're waiting also, at the I'm, edge. You're waiting at the edge at this point, yeah, kind of like a the water. Yeah. like kind of like a, a dog trying to get its ball to wade yeah. closer. Like yeah, yeah. Over. he's like sitting in there plowing in the water. Also, I'm Loki, hoping he just turns into a shark and swims away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Goodbye, Jared. Well, Bye. I mean, not, not. A, I mean, swim away from the black orb, not from us. Oh, I, I thought you meant just <laughs> just you know, forever. It, it, it released like, into oh. his natural habitat. Yeah, it was released okay. into the psychopath bin. Top of the initiative, Sakata. Um, Bub, are there any <laughs> rocks nearby? <laughs> no, there are no rocks nearby. Do just I still have any of the rocks that I picked up from Crazy Jared's house outside? I don't know. You know what? We'll leave it to a die roll. Okay. Uh, what, what, what do you want to do? Even or odd? Uh, even I have. Even you have. Yes. Even. All right. I Sniper, want to just chuck- be, just be grateful that I'm not rolling this for the damage on your face. <laughs> right. Uh, I want to see if I can <laughs> chuck the rock. Uh, okay. So snipers in front of us, and the black mass is way in front of us right like they're 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 shore. under they're under the water yeah but like way offshore no no these this this black mass that's beginning to swell up around like a hematoma is about oh. 25 feet out at max well i want to throw a rock at it see what happens all right so here's a string Right. That's that's. I mean, that's it's an it attack. Be. It's it's an attack. You you have throw anything. All right. Uh, so that would be dex. God, strength plus. Uh, oh, dex plus base, right? You're you're throwing. It's it's range. thrown. Yeah. It's it's strength. That's that's. It's, oh, it's your strength see? mod. Sniper, don't fucking lie to me here. He's throwing rocks. Yeah, I thought it was still a dex to go ahead and see if it actually hits what he's aiming at. And then um. Oh, to hit. Your yeah, accuracy is, is going to be... I thought he was talking about damage. Um, yeah, no, you're... Accuracy. It's going to be off of... Uh, it's going to be off your dex modifier, I think. Wait, that that doesn't sound right at all. What the shit? See, now you got me all confused, man. <laughs> That's that, that right there is base attack bonus plus dex. How do you got 10 dex? Well, I, sniper. Oh, wait, base attack. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Yeah. I know it's sucking on your head in the game. I'm gonna need you to be a little bit more up there. 
I hope nothing's sucking on your head in real life. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that before I said it. I like what Sprocket said. There are many rocks nearby. They're all just slightly too big. It's true, though. It's true. Yes, yeah, they're, they're, they're called boulders. I mean, I could roll that into the lake, but that might not help you. That might just... I mean, knowing our luck with boulders in our party just drag us down. You, you know, you're helping me by staying on shore. See? Yeah. I mean, I could swim down there, but I don't want to be eaten. So. Sometimes doing nothing is the best help. Exactly. Which is why I want to why? find it and see if I can piss it off. By what, bub? Um... Let's I'm down see. If, if whatever you want to call it, I'll do it. I mean, if you want to make me roll a charisma check to throw a rock, I'll still do it. No, what? No, stop it. Stop it. It's can, not can like I I'm roll just. It then? No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Why? Like, can I... I can't even believe that, that I've forgotten this. How did you guys make me brain so poorly <laughs> to forget this? <laughs> I'm going to place this one squarely on sniper shoulders. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Now I can't even find it. <laughs> <laughs> While you're searching for that, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, my balls. I mean, I know I don't get penalties. I just don't know what I'm supposed I, to. Yeah, I know. I know that you don't. Is it, is it just, uh, we could just say it's a base dex throw. Oh my god, I don't have time to read through a forum. Wielder Are you fucking me right now? modifier to damage dealt by thrown weapons. And, no, you still go ahead and throw using dex. Is it using Plus dex? Yeah. I, thought it, I thought it was a will save. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and you. Yeah, it's dex because you're seeing if you actually hit something at range, and it's strength is the damage. How hard you thrown it? Yeah. Unlike God a damn it. weapon like a bow, where it just composite bow would well, be strength. Composite bows allow strength because you need yeah. to throw it harder. and fully like go. <laughs> Killing me, man. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, um, sure. A 22. Let me tell you if a 22 hits or not. A 22 will hit. Okay, now tell me what the damage is going to be for a rock. Uh, it's a D2. Plus my strength mod? It's, no, it's it's going to be... Yeah, yeah. I think it's a D2. A D2 plus your strength mod. Yeah. Did that not roll? There it goes. So I, I threw the rock at him. I threw a rock! That was my last rock, guys. I don't think my, my usefulness is outworn its uh, use here. You toss the rock into the water as hard as you possibly can, accurately trying to hit any part of this mass that's seemingly swimming inward. It has no effect. Over the wave, the black wave oh, that's moving inward. You know inward. what this is? This is the fucking... It's the thing from Super Mario Sunshine. It's the giant stingray. She's coming to fuck us up. My turn. No. Yeah. It is my turn. No. Sniper. No. It's Jared's turn. Take three points of damage as this thing continues to tear at the flesh around your face. Okay. Also... Okay. Klaus, you don't really have very good aquatic vision. No. You know what you're trying to get a hold of, but your clarity underwater, especially putrid green water, is not super it's not super keen. So as you're trying to get a hold of this fool to cast a spell upon him, you see this black mass begin to swell up around you and Jared. It doesn't look like one creature, it looks like many creatures, writhing like slick blackened tentacles they do not appear to be very long they swim around some of them seem to rest uh, over the top of your robes others seem to move 
just beneath the, the, the robe itself or at the uh, at the base of your wrist. Uh, others seem to be reaching over to, to his neck and holding on to it. Some of it appears to be like grabbing onto your hands. You don't actually feel any pain. Give me a fortitude save, Klaus. I also need a fortitude save from you, do I have Jared. To? <laughs> yes. Hey, you know you got that badass fort. Uh, plus four, yeah, real badass. At no, least that, you got better die than I do. With a badass fort. I don't know. I've glowed. I've rolled below ten pretty much all night. So. Oh. No, I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay. I think that was my highest roll of the night. Okay. <laughs> ten. I will tell you what happens at the end of the round. Okay. The damage is done. Jared. Jared, you're up, sir. You feel things moving, writhing around your body like that one time in Boca with that oh. series of male strippers. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I'm not going to relax this time. <laughs> Sniper, have you been rolling a d6 instead of a 20 tonight? <laughs> Who said that shit? Lucasine? 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 Yeah. Get it, you go ahead and get into his, you know, a game. I'm 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 a, I'm a ruin you. I'm I'm a ruin you. <laughs> you just wait until that... I go ahead and roll my next character. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to do a monk just to piss Bub off thanks to you. And I'll make sure to kill it with a train. <laughs> Trains don't even exist, what? and I'm going to do it with a train. Dude, you're already... <laughs> no, just use the Mack truck, Bub. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, my bad. My bad, I'll do that. Jared, what do you got for this, me? Not a whole hell of a lot. I mean... Something's go got a hold of you. Something is attempting to grab at your arm. What? Which one? <laughs> the, the one, one that is... Fucking wrist deep. Okay, so something that is trying to go ahead and grab at this arm? Yeah. <laughs> Something's trying to play grab ass with whatever your hand is in. Uh, no, no, something's trying to play grab ass with the ass grabber. Something um, like that, yeah. What you got for me? We're going to see a relax and then a white fluid come dripping out of the fucking hand hole. I'll yeah, vomit. he's going to go ahead and just clench his fist. And pull. He's going to use both hands to try and pull this thing off his head. It has tendrils that are sharp. You're going to... I'm you're already gonna need taking... to love your body. I'm already taking damage. You're going to yeah. scalp yourself. This is going to be hot. Go ahead. Give me a CMB versus CMD, <laughs> sir. Taking it all off, literally. Uh... We got through the first room of the dungeon. We haven't even actually. The you guys backtracked. <laughs> we went in, then came back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go dip it in the water. <laughs> hey, guess what? I could have just cut your hand off. This could have been done. You just would have a stump. That'd be fine. And of course, I would imagine that does not trump the CMD. It does not. Rip the dice gods are mad. We could have given you a nice little hook. Dice gods are it's really true. upset that he stuck his hand in some foreign object. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I, all right. I'll stop tilting the table. All right, I'll stop tilting the table. He's yes, he's still, he's, that? he is in fact still in the water. He is in fact still in the water. Yeah, in fact, how much longer before I start got to make him constant, before I start making constitution saves? Um, uh, you, it's a while, it's a while. You're, you're still so fine. about that big mouth bass? Bass? Bass. I prefer bass. Big, big you, mouth bass. You prefer to be wrong? You, you, you've, you've got a, you've got a while. You've got a while, in fact, before you have to worry about making any saves. Um... Yeah. You know there are people in Cauldron that can replace that hand. You know there are people in Cauldron that will struggle replacing your face, but might be able to. <laughs> yeah, they can just, you know. 
Oh, this is perfect. You guys have an out now for somebody that can actually join the Faceless Men. <laughs> it's too good. Uh, Jared, you are still struggling. You are failing at this point. Um, I'm used to that. now. You're seeing... taking on water, man. You're taking on water. Your swim check is going to be fucking horrid. You should try not resisting when I cast Actually, a spell on you. my swim check is pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah? Are... Wearing plate mail armor? Yeah. Yeah. I have What's your swim? swim check. 15. Yeah. Even wearing plate mail? I've dumped yeah. a lot of points in that. But Not that many. The, uh, we get, yeah, we get the feet. We can get up to minus four uh, penalty completely gone. Yeah, but when you're swimming, it doubles the check penalty on your armor. Ew. Well, my sheet should be taking it into account. That's all I know. Okay, so what is the check penalty on, on plate mail? Is it six? I think it's like six or nine. Uh, armor check penalty four. Okay, yours is a An four armor courtesy. Takes away four. That's you have armor full training plate. takes. He has full plate. Yes. It's minus five. That's what it says on my sheet. I've got plus two masterwork plate, so that actually drops the penalty. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I got. I just got masterwork. How many points do you have in five. swim? I currently have five points in a swim, six strength modifier, uh, trained by th no, trained three ranks. You reduce the armor check penalty by one uh, every four yeah. levels, Let's see. up to a maximum of minus four reduction on armor check. Okay, so what is your your uh, armor check penalty right now? Then is it minus two, minus three? Up, oh, damn. Should be minus two uh, from from true, armor true, training true, at least. It would take away two. Then that's pretty huge. That's that's so substantial. Four. Yeah, and so you should I've be you should got, be losing four of the penalty. So and five. I've also got armor master, so reducing. Yeah, so that by takes five. away the last point. Gotcha. Okay, so your swimming is it, you're not actually failing by much. Yep. Fighters, man, we're great. Well, we can only, fighters fight, who we can know only that invest. They can't swim. We can only put in three skill points a level. We might as well put them in the like. Four categories that have strength. Oh, that's if you're a dumbass. You only get three points a level. Dude, I don't invest a lot in intelligence. I don't know if you yeah, noticed. About that's pretty. That. That's pretty evident. Yeah, hey, I, I'd hey, hope I'm so. Also getting three points a level. Yeah. When Man, I show you guys up. Are just... When I show up to a fight, them, I'm not here to go ahead and read poetry. I'm here to swing <laughs> something very exactly. heavy. Yeah. See, we're here to break shit. And We're then you get shit the bright idea to stand on slippery wet stairs <laughs> with a thing attached to your hand. Good thing you're you excellent at pirouetting. <clears throat> Alright. You know I'm still Klaus. blaming you for this, right? Klaus! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because he wants to at this point. <laughs> hey, it's okay, it's okay. Let me try this. I got this. Oops. It was the fulcrum. He did it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you didn't go ahead and twist your finger the right way when you were tickling it up its ass. Look, I'm not it, the one who put just, hands inside just, of a foreign just object. Just a, a little touch. A little touch. A I wasn't little touching touch. inside of it. I was tapping the outside, my friend. <laughs> a very big difference. And that big difference is the fact, or, I mean, you can clearly tell at this point what the difference may be. Um, I'm going to try to cast Fly on him again and hope he doesn't resist this time. Sure, go ahead. Sniper. Go ahead and roll for me, boss. He's trying to cast a spell on you again. Oh, come on. Said, time to do you, can't, you can't seem to make a, the difference out at this point between someone of attempting to grab you and these things. That, of all the times that I actually pass a will save, You've got to be shitting me. I am so proud of you. I am about done trying to help you. <laughs> I am about that close. Dude, just I give it up. Lightning and... bolt my ass. <laughs> He's just like, kill me, fam. Fuck me up. You, you realize you can't twice suffering. in one. <laughs> how many sli How many? How many times? Like how many? Since that's that's you've tried to cast and it's fizzled. That's, that's, that's three. Twice. That's twice, twice, twice on him, once on you. Yeah, once. How many? How many more times can you cast? Hmm? You cast. How many more times can you cast fly? Cast. I've cast. I've cast it three times so three. far. Yeah. Um, I can cast up to seven times 
for rest period. God bless sorcerers. Yeah. Right. It's a third level spell, so I have uh, mm -hmm. up to seven casts of it. So, yeah, apparently this is how the dice gods work. If it's anything that will let me party, <laughs> I fail. If it's anything that will kill me, I pass. <laughs> I mean, I would really love to just shock us both at this point and uh, try to get whatever these black things are off. But, um, yeah, I already tried casting and you refused it yet again. So it's not that I'm refusing it, but I wouldn't believe you would actually swim down into the water for me. Really? Because I've been the only one to try and help you thus far. <laughs> That's why I, I didn't want to swim down there. Again, Klaus, I have some Klaus. wrapped around my head. I can't see shit. Klaus, you have a standard action. Uh, well, technically a move action left, since you cast fly. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> you could try grappling me. I, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, my, my CMB will really beat your CMD there. I'm sure that'll... Mm. Um, I, I guess I'm going to try and hit this thing on his face. I'm just going to try to punch it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make an attack. I, I know I'm going to fail, but I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> you can't do worse than I am. You'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't at this point. Uh, <laughs> oh, no gosh. better than a two. BAB plus Fuck. strength. Uh, let's see. Where's my P? Cool. Okay. So that is... I hope you nat 20. Okay. 15. Uh, you are you are actually you're you're capable of hitting it. All right. Uh what do you want for damage? It's just going to be your strength. Four. Um yeah. Well, actually it's uh it's it's a d6. Well, you, you don't have improved unarmed combat, correct? Nope. All right. It's going to be uh it's going to be a d3 Four. plus no, it's D3. It's it's halved. It's D3 plus your strength modifier. Hey, can I just leave my strength modifier off of this? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> God, just Can I just roll a thought in 20? <sighs> Fine, I'll add my fucking strength modifier. Damn crazy Jared. You need to add. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Subtract. Jesus. Look, man, I didn't get a good night's sleep. Okay. Sniper, you feel something puncture a spot deep into your uh, into your face. It feels like something struck the creature from the outside. Can't seem to make out what it was. Horum, things are looking things are looking rough. Things went from bad to worse. You're starting to lose vision of your allies. Um, I want to cast detect evil. To see if I can see this, if this wave is evil. I don't know how long it lasts. You've got nothing. But nothing is evil in the water. So it's just creatures. That's uh, not good for me. But uh, I'm going to just throw my rope, like the one end of my rope, out towards them in the hopes that somehow, some way, they can grab onto it. But 